Hi, Zebo here again. Now in this video, we're going to show you how we created this shot. Now in this tutorial, I'm just going to cover the major steps I took in making this shot possible. If you want a full list of all the software you used and more detailed tutorials on how to use this software, please follow our Kickstarter link below. Okay, we've opened up Blender. This is the normal interface. So the first thing we're going to do is switch into orthogonal view. That's five on the numpad and then hit seven on the numpad. That takes you to the top view. I'm going to load up the background image. This is a butterfly thing I've found off the internet. Google is very helpful in this case. Um, check the background. As you can see, we turn it on and off, the image disappears. And as soon as you switch out from the top orthogonal view, it also disappears. Okay, so the first object we're going to add is a plane. And I'm going to move the medium point the plane to the center of the butterfly right there. Now this is important for the mirror modifier. Next thing we're going to do is delete all the vertices except for one of them. Zoom in. I know this is kind of hard to see. Okay, we've got that one single vertex. I'm going to bring it up just about there. And then we're going to add the mirror modifier. From here, go to the mirror. And make sure our clipping is turned on and the x-axis is checked. From here, we're going to hit E to extrude. And we're going to basically trace the path of the butterfly wing. Now, you don't have to be exact, again, because this butterfly is going to be very blurry at six frames per second, and it's going to be an SD picture. So no one's going to be able to tell that this is a jagged butterfly wing. Okay, so this, I'll just fast forward to the, till we complete this. Okay, now we're going to tab out. I'm going to turn off the background image, and we can see now our butterfly wing is perfectly mirrored on the left and the right. Now, the next step is to close this loop and add in the faces. So, basically, we're going to select three faces and hit the F button. It will add in a plane for it. Now, we do this for all the vertices until we fill the wing. Now, I'm just going to skip ahead to show you what the completed one looks like. Okay, here we are. Now, as you can see, we have a really nice symmetrical butterfly wing. I'll rot rotate it around. Okay, the next step is to add the texture. We go into UV editing. I'm going to bring up the image again, the same image as from before. As you can see, it's not lined up right now. That's a really quick fix. We just go to the right side here, select all the vertices, and hit the UV Unwrap button. Project from view. From here, we're going to scale it up and just line it up to the picture right there as best we can. Again, you don't have to be exact. Now you see the left side is not lined up because it's it's not a left side is not a perfect copy of the right. Uh, all we have to do is just move the vertices a little bit so they line up. And what this will give you is you won't get an exact copy of the wing, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. And that's pretty much it. Okay, now we're going to go back to the default view. Let's you can see the texture. And we're going to go to the texture view. Make sure we select our image again. And ensure that the coordinates are set to UV. Okay, now it's time to export. We'll go into file export wavefront obj object this is so after effects and element 3d can read it make sure to include normals and triangulate faces and we save it and then we're off to after effects okay now we're in after effects and the first thing we're going to do here is add in a new solid uh apologize here the top of the screen is being cut off by the screen casting software 
Okay, we're going to call this butterfly. And we're going to add in video copilot element 3D. This is a new plugin that just came out a couple months ago from the good folks at video copilot. So now you can see we've already loaded in this layer, which is just the butterfly image. I'm going to disable it right here. I'm going to go back to element 3D and go to custom texture maps, add in the wings layer. And then we're going to move into scene setup and hit import. And we're going to import that OBJ object that we just exported from Blender right here. Import. Now, as you can see, it's right here, just as we made it very flat. Um, so the next thing is we have to add textures to it. We're going to hit the diffuse layer, load the custom map that we loaded from the timeline. And we're going to also use that same map as the normal map. I'm going to do that for both of these wings, the left and the right. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Sometimes these things don't come over properly, um, but there's a quick fix. We just load it in twice and make sure to set the normal map. All right, and there you have it. Now you can adjust the normal to to your liking. Now, next thing is we're going to duplicate this layer three times. Just hit Command D to duplicate it. I'm going to label the first one wing left for the left wing, and the second one, we're going to put it on layer two and label this wing R for the right wing. And the last one, we're going to put it on layer three and label this as the body. Okay, now we're just going to disable the layers for each one, respectively, wing right. Make sure we keep the, only the white, the right wing. Okay, right there. And then the left wing, disable everything except for the left wing. Make sure I choose the right one here, or the left one. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and the one last thing I forgot to enable back faces, which is down here, cut off on the screen. Uh, again, I apologize, this is screencast software. Let me just readjust my screen size right here so you can actually see what I'm clicking here. Draw back faces right there. See what happens when it's off, you don't see it. When it's on, you see the back side. So that's always an important thing to make sure you have. Okay, next thing we're going to do is load in the environment. We load it in from a file. Now these are from pictures we took on set, right where we wanted the butterfly to be. We just basically stitched them together into one blurry image map, and it comes in from here. And so what this does will relight your object with the correct colors and the lighting to match the scene. Oh, oh, I actually forgot to add a texture to the body. So I'm going to go back into Element 3D, go into the body layer, and just drop in a preset texture. Let's try this shiny thing here. Uh, about black hole. Well, that doesn't look right. All right, uh, let's go and try something else in the pro shaders. How about this electron? Yeah, that looks a lot better. The electric butterfly. Okay, so here we are. The next thing we're going to use the world transform. So this will move all three layers together rather than moving them individually. Okay, we're just going to line it up to about the spot that we want it. About there it looks about right and we're going to rotate it so it's in the correct perspective. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is add a slider control. And this is the wrong one. Okay, I'm going to delete that and go back and add the slider control. There we go. Okay. Um, we're going to go into the first wing, go to the particle look. Make sure you're on particle look and not a particle replicator. And adjust this Z control right here. 
and you notice the wing is actually flapping around, which is great. That's what we want. Now we're going to hit Alt click on the Z to bring up the expression dialog. And then we're going to pick whip this to the slider. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing for the right wing. Go to particle look, rotation. And as you can see, the wing flaps around as we move it. I'm going to Alt click the Z right there. Just bring up the expression again. And we'll do the same thing. Pick whip the expression to the slider. Okay, great. Now I see as we move the slider, it now looks like an airplane flying around, which is not what we want. But luckily, there's a quick fix. Um, all we have to do is go back to the first wing. Okay, let's make this just the slider. Go back to the first wing expression and add in times negative one. What this will do is just flip the rotation of the wing. So now when we move the slider, the wing actually flaps like a butterfly, which is great. Okay. Now we're just going to go up and adjust the world settings so the butterfly looks like it's in the correct position. Now again, in here, because this is higher resolution than what we're actually outputting, you can tell that the body isn't quite right. It's missing some legs. But since we knew this is going to be low resolution and really blurry, we didn't go into all that detail. But normally when you do some effects like this, you want to render, you want to create and build the model in the highest level detail that the film will ever be projected. So we're just doing this for simplicity. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is add a camera lens blur just to match the depth of field here. I'm going to punch in a value 12, maybe 16. Looks about right. And move that above the slider. Now, as you slide this, we have a butterfly that flaps its wings. Now, right now, it doesn't look like it's really part of the scene. That's because we haven't adjusted the translucency, the lighting, and everything. Um, you can adjust that as needed to make the butterfly blend better into the scene. And here's the final result. We hope you got something out of this video. And if you liked it, please consider supporting our project by donating in any amount that you can or sharing this project or this tutorial to anyone who you think may be interested. We really could use all the support we can get and we truly cannot do this film without you guys. Thanks again for watching and for your support.